Good morning. It's the 26th of April 2023 and we are going to run through the US markets and sectors just like every morning. S&P 500 price finder starting to fall with the momentum already down for uh, more than a week, maybe closer to. So price is starting to follow the same story on Nasdaq uh, heading toward my uh, butterfly profit area of course it's on profits now but this is where it would start to be like really good dow jones fell yesterday just like everything pretty accurate signals here uh, shorting triggers here and then the momentum turns iwm falling iwo so growth stocks falling like everything yesterday uh, yesterday the volatility spiked pretty nicely uh, it's still green now it's kind of like taking a little rest but let's see where it goes today bitcoin seems to be seems to be green was green yesterday is green today so will bitcoin now bounce from here who knows could be there's a bounce trigger last bounce trigger was pretty good the one before that was pretty good this here didn't do much except when you waited so sometimes these work pretty fine uh, the same story in ethereum not as pronounced for the bounce that may be starting but the trigger is there at least for now it's not confirmed because it's here on today's candle and of course if today gives a bit of red candle there won't be a trigger this is not confirmed but if it stays more or less in this level there will be a bounce trigger Going to the sectors, XLE, so energy heading lower. Uh, that's, you see here's my, what is that? Short strangle. XLF was my short idea from yesterday. And of course, I still forgot to take the trade. It would have been a good trade to take. I don't know, maybe <laughs> I'm just not gonna short XLF. XLB is my short. I got uh, two thirds out of the position already yesterday here locked in a nice profit now I can't lose on the remaining part of the trade anymore I'm just gonna see how far I can go and see if I can make more profit on that but I've already recovered my cost basis which is a thing that I generally like to do to kind of try to get into a situation where it's very difficult for me to lose XLK falling just like Nasdaq now going below the zero line pretty strong red day today uh, sorry yesterday XLU was heading higher yesterday, even though the momentum has turned lower. This is relative strength. XLI, strong bear day. I think I may have said this yesterday that the industrials may be a short. I did not put this to the short ideas, but I have a feeling that I've been saying that taking a short would have been a fine idea somewhere here, which is true. XLV, so the healthcare sector price went down yesterday like pretty much everything went down yesterday the momentum turn is starting to work xly uh, i think this was more or less a choppy chart it has been kind of trying to fall on the momentum side the price hasn't fallen now it's again at the bottom of this recent range let's mm -hmm. see what happens with that xlp price i don't remember the names of these but it's some sort of shooting star could be or some kind of thing with a long up, upper wick and generally this uh, this sort of candles are considered to be pretty bearish like for example here phew, try to go higher didn't man manage to go higher then phew, fall down who knows maybe today could be this could be a similar kind of day just this, just like here momentum turned already price didn't turn on Till it made that kind of pattern here it's the same story price didn't turn when the momentum turned went higher and what happens next i don't know could be that it just keeps going higher or it could fall if it behaves like here but maybe worth watching if you like this sort of like this sort of bearish ideas now but by the way i changed the color like i said yesterday so red is uh the bearish ideas and green is the bullish ideas and blue ones are the trends that i've got to open now real estate Fell yesterday, pretty clear, bearish reversals. It was one of my bearish ideas from yesterday and actually I didn't open any trades yesterday, so I missed all of these. XLC, oh, heading higher pre-market. Uh, momentum falling, price falling. 
I wouldn't be trading this higher just yet. I would wait for the bull turn. Biotech confirmed bear turn yesterday. Hmm. Could be worth shorting. XRT, oh, big down day yesterday. Too bad I closed my ANF trade. I suppose it's too bad. I'm just gonna check that even though I'm not in any more ANF. Oh yeah, of course I missed that day now that, I've, that I closed the trade uh, the day before yesterday, but that happens. It was profitable anyway. Home builders turning orange. So, and there's a shorting signal at the same time as turning orange. Has it worked before? Yes, it has. Uh, did it work here? Not super well. Uh, there is a turn and okay, pretty nice, pretty nice signal here as well. Was above zero, the momentum was above zero, turned negative on the same day with the red triangle and did it work? Of course it did. By the way, it's not of course, they don't work every time, but you see that it is pretty, pretty accurate here. Same kind of trigger kind of didn't work so well you needed to wait until that one this here the momentum is below zero so it's not that kind of a clear thing but usually when you start to have a top and then you have these that coincide well here you needed to all bounce and then finally worked so here it would have worked i am not gonna show this and show this anymore here because we're starting to have the green cloud now and by the way this is my bullish idea if the next next bounce is solid why do i not have the okay i don't have the moving average indicators on this screen i don't know why i've done something stupid like pressing delete i'll put them back for tomorrow oil producers big red day yesterday there was already a buy signal here now that got invalidated because the the momentum color didn't change yet but oh and the clean energy there was a drop trigger with a momentum turn and that has worked up to now so that's it if you would like to try these on your own screen go to reversalcatcher.com forward slash trial and take these for a test ride uh, one dollar for 10 days i love them and i'm pretty sure you will love them as well if you learn to use them and by the way a pretty good way to learn to use them is keep watching these videos of course there's a really solid written and video user guide on the members area where you get access when you take the trial but yeah and and it's pretty simple to use them anyway i love them i'm pretty sure you would love them to prove me wrong take the trial and make a lot of money